Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem based on Lagrange's interpolation formula. A problem is use Lagrange's interpolation formula to fit a polynomial for the data. X values are 0, 1, 3, 4. Y values are minus 12, 0, 6 and 12. So using this, we need to apply what here? We'll to get what here? Polynomial. So solution. See, by using the Lagrangius interpolation, how to find polynomial? We'll see now. So here simple thing. So here they have not given the x value. It is understood that. So x will remain as it is. So remaining all value we need to apply. So let x0 value is 0, x1 value is 1, x2 value is 3, x4 value is 4, sorry x3 value is 4. Next y0 value is minus 12, y1 value is 0, y2 value is 6, y3 value is 12. So using this we will apply in the Lagrange's formula. So by Lagrange's formula that is f of x is equal to it is given by x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 whole divided by x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 x0 minus x3 into y0 plus next term is x minus x0 x minus x2 x minus x3 divided by x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 into y1 next plus x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x3 we have to hide uh, x2 here so that will use here so x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 x2 minus x3 into y2 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 divided by x3 minus x0 x3 minus x1 x3 minus x2 into y3 so this is the formula for Lagrange's formula and we can see here we don't know the values of x and we know the value of x0 x1 x2 x3 as well as y0 y1 y2 y3 so leaving x all values will substitute here so that will get the values as so this will remain as f of x only the first term we don't know the x value so it will become x minus x1 value is 1 x minus x2 value will be 3 x minus x3 value will be 4 divided by x0 value is 0 so 0 minus 1 0 minus 3 0 minus 4 into y0 value from the table it is minus 12 plus second term x minus x0 x minus x2 x minus x3 so x will remain as it is x minus x0 is 0 x minus x2 is 3 x minus x3 is 4 divided by x1 is 1 so 1 minus 0 1 minus 3 1 minus 4 into y1 value is 0 plus next third term will be x minus x0 that is x minus 0 x minus x1 so x1 is 1 x minus x3 x3 is 4 divided by so x2 value is that is 3 so 3 minus 0 3 minus 1 3 minus 4 into y2 value from the table it is 6 plus fourth term x minus x0 x0 is 0 x minus x1 x1 is 1 
x minus x2, x2 value is 3 divided by x3 value is 4 minus 0, then 4 minus 1, 4 minus 3 into y3 value is 12. So once we get this, you can see that so here x value is not there so that uh, on simplification we will get a equation or we will get a polynomial. So we will see the simplification. So f of x is equal to the first term on the simplification. So first term, so x minus 1, x minus 3, x minus 4. So we need to multiply this bracket. So what I will do here, I will keep x minus 1 as it is. We will multiply x minus 3, x minus 4. So on multiplication, so x, it will become x square minus 3x minus 4x, it will become minus 7x minus, minus into minus plus 4 3 is a 12 divided by so minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 so we will get this one as so 4 3 is a 12 12 into 1 is 12 so minus minus plus plus into minus is minus this minus and this minus become plus so it will become 12 into 12 plus next this x minus 0 is x x minus 3 x minus 4 already we have opened the bracket here so we have the simplification as x square minus 7x plus 12 divided by 1 minus 0 is 1 so minus 2 will get and minus, uh, minus uh, 3 will get so which is nothing but so it will be so actually uh, second term if you see that so y1 is 0 so this completely into 0 here so you leave it so just I will uh, write here as 1 uh, minus 2 and minus 3 so this is 0 this term will become vanish only because it is 0 next we will go for the third term the third term is that is plus sign so x minus 0 is x open the bracket x square minus 1x and minus 4x is minus 5x minus into minus plus 4 divided by 3 into 3 minus 1 is 2 and 3 minus uh, 4 is minus 1 so 3 2 is a 6 6 into minus 1 is minus 6 into this 6 plus the last term so x minus 0 is x so x minus 1 x minus 3 open the bracket so x square minus 4x so minus into minus plus 3 divided by so 4 here will get 3 here will get 1 so 4 into 3 12 12 into 1 is 12 into this 12 so this 12 12 cancels this 6 and 6 cancels minus will remain 12 and 12 cancels so on simplification we will get this one as so on rearrangement so we will get this term so first term will get x minus 1 into x square minus 7x plus 12 plus second term will be 0 minus third term will be x into x square minus 5x plus 4 plus fourth term will be x into x square minus 4x plus 3 so therefore again open the bracket x into this complete uh, values it will become x cube minus 7 x square plus 12 x so minus 1 into this complete value that is minus x square plus 7 x minus 12 so 0 leave it so open the bracket minus x into this completely so minus x cube minus into minus is plus 5 x square minus into plus is minus 4 x next plus I will continue here so plus x into this bracket so it will become x cube minus 4 x square plus 3 x so therefore on final uh, simplification so f of x is equal to so highest power is x cube so 1 x cube plus and minus so this x cubes cancel 1 x cube is left I will write down here then we will take a pair of uh, x square so minus 7 x square then minus uh, minus x square minus 8 x square then 5 x square minus 4 x square we will get it as 
minus 7 x square next next is plus 12 x plus 7 x minus 4 x and plus 3 x it will become plus 18 x and minus 12 is uh, alone a uh, constant that is minus 12 so this is a required polynomial using Lagrange's interpolation formula so required polynomial by Lagrange's interpolation formula so in this way we need to prepare a polynomial for the given data